Okay, so we're talking about figurative language, literal and figurative language. I have here some examples um, from the story we just read, The Sound of Thunder by Ray Bradbury. So I'm going to give these to you, and uh, you're going to use these later for an activity, so you keep them, but because uh, it's, sometimes it's hard to find them in the text, so I picked them out. So each one of these quotes has figurative language in it, okay? So we're going to start bottom to top. We're going to do a full review. So if you can't remember what figurative language is, I'm going to answer that question for you. First, I've got to figure out what side of my board I can put on know something, but the characters don't know. For science fiction, we are going to review some old uh, figurative devices, and then we're going to learn some new ones. Okay, so a reminder, literal versus figurative. Okay. okay. Literal means the simple meaning of the actual words. Uh, you say like, when, right? Blueberries turn blue. Figurative, it's a deeper meaning beyond the actual words. Mom was quite blue after uh, her When we're talking about blue, the use of the word blue, okay? In the first one, blueberries actually do turn blue. Let's, let's see. When they're not ripe. When they're, when they're ripe, sure, they turn blue or purple. The use of the color is actual, right? Okay. Now, in this one, mom was quite blue after her weekend trip was canceled. Is she blue the color blue? No. no. What does this tell us? Somebody is blue. She's shocked. She's what? She's shocked. She's a shocked? Incorrect. A good guess. Huh? Yeah. Uh, it has a specific meaning. This is an idiom. Feeling blue. Huh? Oh, was it said? Yes. Sorry. What said. Remember, you have to shout things at me. Okay. <laughs> okay. Mom was sad. So in this case, the color represents an emotion, right? 
So it's not just that she has the color blue. Okay. So you have your literal and your figurative meaning. Now, Devices are a type of figurative language. They're tools that authors use. We've practiced using them before. These devices are designed to have a specific impact on the audience. Is everybody okay with these words? I'm going to have you look them over. In this case, the audience is what? you to remember is impact on the audience. What's another word for impact, Akitaka? Oh, what's another word for impact, Akitaka? Hmm. I took out that word and I replaced it with another word. What would be a good replacement word? For impact? Yep. devices are designed to have a specific blank on the audience. Uh, specific Not sure? You blanking? You just, you have a word, you're not sure if it's right. I'm um, kind of blank. Blank? Okay. I'll ask the other children, other wee teens. Anybody got anything? These devices, literary devices, are designed to have a specific, what's another word for impact? Ha! Identified a weakness, yes? Effect works. Oh yeah. Okay, like a cause and effect, right? So that has an effect on the audience. Uh, we're gonna t we're gonna talk about. I'm gonna go over the four. We're gonna learn four today. One, simile. Two, metaphor. Three, personification. And four, hyperbole. I want you to write those down at the top so you know you know what we're looking for here. These are going to be the main four for today. These are actually probably going to be the main four for our unit. There won't be many others that we learn. But for this story, Sound of Thunder, simile, metaphor, personification, and hyperbole are the things that Ray Bradbury most likes to use. I'm going to erase the board on the left. Is everybody okay with that? What? No. 
Okay, finish writing the left side. I, I use a lot of time thinking about other then, ways. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Can you finish writing this side on the left? Yeah. I'm going to keep the one on the right. So focus on finishing the left one then. Okay. that means I've chosen four good things to review. Yes? If you guys already knew them, then it would be a waste of a lesson. He said he knows the metaphor. Oh, he knows some of them? He says he knows the metaphor. Oh, metaphor. Oh, okay, <laughs> thank you. Guys, can you please yell at me, please? Okay. Yeah, I mean, I'm having trouble hearing I'm talking today, so you gotta go like times 10 on whatever you're doing. I had no idea what he was saying. I just guessed. Okay. You okay? Left huh? side. Can you tell me when you're done on the left side? I just have to make the box. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna stop the video and I'll start it again. 